chair. He's completely blind. When I adopted him, I couldn't even fold laundry. If he would like shake out the shirts, he was terrified. He was afraid of every household noise when I adopted him. He needs that security of being with someone. He always needs to be touching someone. You want a cookie? <laughs> My name is Julie and this is Jack's story for GeoBeats. He was a breeder dog. I had recently had eye surgery and I was actually unable to see for like three days. I had been so dependent on everyone around me and I knew when I saw him, this little dog needs me. And so I went through the process of adopting him. He can't see and he doesn't care and he just has so much fun. You want a cookie? <laughs> Once he learns where he's at, he won't forget anything. Come on, all the way in. I remember once I took him to my mom's house, but I took him there a year later and he did not run into one thing. Good job. And you can't just reach down and touch him because he doesn't know that's going to happen. But he's really learned when, when something's going to frighten him. If you get a glass of water and you're going to use the ice machine, you have to say, Jack, ice, Jack. Touch? Good boy. Touch was the most important one. Touch? Touch? <laughs> If I do say careful, he'll just stop in his tracks. Careful. If I say Jack loud noise, he goes into his room and he'll stay there until it's over. A blind dog will run in any direction when they're frightened. My mom. I had to get a recall with him, so I decided it would be fine mom. And now if I say fine mom, he comes to me always. Good boy. He's behind me now because I was saying fine mom. <laughs> he probably wasn't born blind. He probably went blind over time. He's not running around the house unless he has what I call a path. He loves to grab a toy and run and run and run and run. Then he goes on the mat and then he squeaks the toy. So we can't put anything in that path. I call it Jack's path. We make sure that there's never anything in his way. He plays with his toys and I think that's what surprised me the most when we adopted him. I thought this blind dog would be afraid to play with toys. He loves to squeak. He, it is his absolute favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> he is hilarious. And he's loving and he's sweet. He's so content just to sit with you on the sofa and just snuggle up. Having a special needs dog is harder than having a regular dog, but it makes that bond so much stronger. It's really a unique bond. He makes us laugh every day and he just brings joy to the house. It just makes us happy. He's the baby. And I'm, I, oh gosh, I love him so much. You want a cookie? <laughs>